Alright, so you can't see it, but my console is lighting up. It's telling me to close the cockpit hatch, so I'm going to do that here. Push this button. Gosh, this thing is so cool. Alright, let's ign ignite the engine. Alright, let's flip all the switches here. Get all these going. Gosh, everything's lighting up on my board. It's so cool. Alright. There we go. Alright, let's get moving. There we go. Got it down. Destroyed. What is that? That looks B B fifty two. Looks like. Oh. Let's take care of some of these guys. Oh, he's right there. Ah! Come on, turn, 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 turn. Commander Striker, how you doing, dude? Hey, fellow VT pilot, let's go! Heck yeah! I haven't played this game in... I, I don't remember the last time I played this game. Sure, I forget that HD video uh, converter thing working properly. I could probably make this thing look a lot better than it currently is. Although the game is intentionally made to look kind of like blurry and smoky and stuff as part of the immersion factor. So even though the visuals aren't nothing to write home about necessarily, they don't look awful just because of the way it's being handled. Hey, Valadantes! Good to see you, dude. God, the this music bangers. Congress of High Shida declares withdrawal from Pacific Rim forces. I don't know the. I don't remember the story about uh, from this game at all. Gormit Sin, the first president appointed office of the new High Shida administration, declares the. The requisition of all overseas assets and the relocation of all foreign affiliated firm employees and the Hashidao. For some reason, this is reminding me of like it's a. Uh, the declaration of the Hashidao forces invade the surrounding waters and its neighboring islands. It's kind of reminding me of a. Uh, oh gosh dang it, you keep taken by the surprise attacks. The Pacific Rim forces were obliterated after. August 12th, the same year, an effort to seize the Hashi Dao. Hashi Dao. Pacific Rim forces organized an expeditionary force led by the 7th Special Panzer Division. The 90th Transportation Unit equipped with the assault landing vehicle. 
and it consists of eight mechanized troops are deployed to carry out the amphibious operations of the Haish the Haishi Dam. I remember this being demoed with that massive controller. Never got a copy, sadly. Yeah, I used to work for a, a, a video. I used to work for a video game store uh, when this thing came out. So I actually managed to pick myself up a copy of it. Um, although I think I got it used. Like I don't remember paying 150 bucks for it. I think I probably paid like more closer to like 100, 110 which I'm really glad I did because looking on eBay now, it's like, my God, these things are going for like probably close to over a thousand dollars now. I don't know what it is currently, but uh, it was uh, it was pretty, it was getting expensive there. The high she I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm pretty sure I'm not saying that right. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's redo the uh, audio output. But yeah, the the story for this game kind of reminds me uh, a little bit of Front Mission. Like the like the the High Shi Dao sounds like a Front Mission faction. Speaking of which, Front Mission Two just released on the Nintendo Switch. I'm thinking of picking that up. Uh, probably next week. I'd, I'd rather get it for Steam, honest, uh, honestly, but I kind of want to play it. Like, I bought the first one, and, you know, I played a little bit on stream. Some people seem to like it, but for me, Front Mission, at least the first Front Mission, feels so bare bones compared to what I was used to, because my first foray into that franchise was Front Mission 3 on the PlayStation 3. Or, excuse me, PlayStation. Front Mission 3 on the PlayStation. And, dude, that game is so good. Like, oh my gosh, everything about that game is amazing. So when I went to go play the first one, I'm like, man, this really feels like a downgrade. Like, you know, I'm sure it was pretty cool when it initially released on the Super Nintendo, but, like, it's like, except for, like, lobbying weapons and missiles, like, I have to be literally adjacent just to use machine guns? Like, that's rough, buddy. Three was mine on the PlayStation? Yeah. Okay, let's go to config... Output type, headphones. Okay. Now I think we can actually, can we do it here? No. We have to purchase it, I think. Reinforcements. It's kind of silly. So, let's see. We're gonna stick with this one. This is like the main battle tank. This is a light variant. This is much faster. But it's not as uh, much faster, but not as stable. Doesn't pack as heavy of a punch. Four had a fun story. I didn't play that much of four. Uh, I should really go back and play four. I just remember a lot of people weren't too keen on four because it wasn't three. Um. Oh. All right. Gosh, that's so funny. We, we have to spend supply points to purchase a boombox. There you go. I have requested a boombox because apparently that's all, that is the only way you can hear music in this game. So is this in the Battletech universe? Hey, the Blade Storm. Pleasure to have you here. Welcome, welcome. Uh, this is not. This is a separate universe made by Capcom uh, called Steel Battalion. Um... I'm not really sure exactly about the the full story about this game, but it seems like the Pacific has a massive force that uh, has recently started expanding, and we're part of a, a small force to try and uh, attempt uh, to keep them from taking over everything in the Pacific. Okay, okay let's go over the mission briefing. Gosh, I wonder if I need to get yet another Xbox, because I'm noticing this thing is uh, having a hard time loading sometimes. But at least it's not like the other original Xbox I had. Alright, gentlemen, listen up. Our battalion will now begin our amphibious operation of the coast of Shawan Haishi Dao. The operation will commence early today at 400 hours. 
at 0530 after the preliminary bombardment by the 8th Joint Mobile Unit. VTs will be sent out to the uh, from the assault landing craft to strike the enemy garrison troops. There will be three enemy platoons near the landing points consisting of VTs and mobile cannons. In addition, it is reported about the the Sha Wan garrison troops that occupy the coastal area consists of tank troops and two coastal gun batteries equipped with eight 48 centimeter guns. Those aren't 48 millimeters, that's 48 centimeters. Damn, that's big. Out of most JP mech games, the VTs of Steel Bazaar seem very grounded, which I tend to prefer. Yeah, the, the, the VTs are definitely some of the most grounded for like Japanese designs, you know, like along with like Vatoms and like other, uh, you know, those other type of me uh, uh, mecha. Hey, Alkanon, thank you so much for the support and for the health check redeem. And love to topple over, right? Like, come on, like, even Mech Warrior doesn't allow mechs to topple over. Very sad. Or, I think that used to be a thing in 3. Like, you can get up and you can, like, you can, like, get down, and then it took it away again. I don't know if the, I don't know if Mech Warrior 5 Clans is gonna reintroduce that. I, I sure hope so. Although, there seems to have been no increase in enemy strength. There may be some potential resistance from the coastal guns and field battery units occupying the northern coast. Until the enemy forces are eliminated, our supply battalion cannot land ashore. This means you will not be able to receive any supplies until the beachhead is secured. So watch your fuel and ammo consumption. As for your positions, starting from the operation, you will belong to Oscar Platoon. You are Oscar 3. Rumor has it that you destroyed two vits on your first time. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. We're counting on you. Best of luck. The Irby would be doomed if it toppled over. Well, the thing with the Irby is that the Irby is so... Um, you know, we talk about the Urban Mech. The Urban Mech is, what, only 30 tons? So if it toppled over, it, yeah, it's, it doesn't have a whole lot of armor, but... Unless if we're talking about the tabletop game... Uh, it's only going to take, uh, what, uh, is it the equivalent of a kick or a punch? Because it's either going to take one point for every ten tons, or one point of damage for every five tons. It might be one point for every five tons. It's just, it's a, it's a lighter mech, it, it won't damage itself as much. Now, the bigger, the bigger mechs, you know, like the, the, the heavies and the assaults, they'll definitely take a lot more damage, uh, if they fall over. But then again, they got, they got armor for days, you know. How would they stand up back up as a problem? Oh, that's a good point. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> sure, willpower. Could you imagine trying to pilot a raven if toppling over was a thing? That'd be kind of awesome. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so we're starting with the... Let's see, what is this? Move out with the VTs and equipment? Yes. Okay, grab that. Hey, Dreamer, thank you for the LRMs. Appreciate it. All right, we're gonna load. We have to load this in. Kabuki man. Cleavage. Book did the. Fujiyama number two. Soy sauce. Working bee. Oh yeah, that 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 works. Not taking too much damage, but unstable. That consists of all those over. Oh yeah, I see. I hear you. And I'm fine with everything being the way it currently is. All right, let's move out.
Since this game released in the early 2000s, 2002 to be exact, it was uh, during a time where every video game developer, uh, specifically the ones developing first-person shooters, felt the need to make sure to add a um, a Normandy-style beach landing sequence, because that was all the rage back then. So, of course, this game also has a Normandy-style beach landing sequence. <laughs> Hell, even Halo had one in 2001. The 205 points, though. Yeah. How is you? I'm doing all right, Dreamer. How are you doing, dude? It's good to see you. You want to hang out, maybe? Uh, after stream, we can we can chillax after stream. Also, your default VT is the decider medium VT. Yeah, I I I like to go with the mediums. FM FM4 had one. Oh, I didn't know that. Gosh, there's so many buttons on this thing. I've only used half of them ever since I played this game. Man, this thing is loading a while. I I probably need to look into getting another Xbox, honestly. All right, let's bring all the switches down. Close the hatch. Ignition. Okay. Flip control system, oxygen supply system, fuel flow rate, buffer material, VT location measurement. All the lights. Alright. Go. Alright. Let's hit the beaches. Boop. No, Dreamer, you boop. Boop on you. Oh, is there a special controller? Boy, howdy. Uh, I am. I literally have in my map, uh, in my lap, a three-part controller all combined into one, where I have two sticks that I'm holding, each on their own peripheral connected to a central peripheral that has more than 20 buttons on it that all light up and do something individual. Along with a throttle gear, which I'm going to move up to throttle uh, gear 2 to speed it up. Uh, let's go up to gear 3. And I'm also on foot pedals, because that's how I accelerate, that's how I stop, and that's, all how, that's also how I boost. I'm currently using a thumb, uh, a thumb hat on my left uh, stick to look around, moving the actual left stick uh, rotates the uh, vertical tank, but using the thumbstick just allows me to move the camera around, which I can, of course, uh, uh, let's see, can I zoom in and out? Yes, I can. the walls. Oh, that guy fell over. Alright, let's let's lower it down. Second gear is a pretty a pretty decent maneuvering speed. Ah! Alright. Alright, let's get let's get out of here. Let's, try, let's pick up the speed. Flanking is good. I like flanking. Okay. We're out of there. Let's flank. Oh, oh shit! Ah! And that is why I don't like using... <laughs> Come on. Get up. There we go. 
That is why I do not like using... <laughs> Where's that coming from? I don't like going up to, uh, to high gear too often because that can happen. Alright. Ah, crap, the screen's dirty. One second, I need to look for... There we go. I gotta watch my screen. I gotta change the mag. Alright, can I switch the... Get pretty close here. You know what? Screw it. Alright. Come here! took way too much fire there. Alright, that was a little rough. I should have pushed him with the other guys, I think, in the middle, maybe. maybe. Wait, hold the fuck up. You have the Steel Battalion controller? Yeah! I bought it when it came out. Well, technically, I bought the... I, I bought a uh, a used version of it uh, back when I worked at a game store. Uh, yeah, and I've had it ever since, but I haven't played it in years. So since I managed to find my working Dreamcast and Xbox in my garage, because we did a massive uh, clean on the house recently, uh, I was able to unearth it, and uh, here we are. So, <laughs> Fun fact, the controller is based on tank controls. Really? Was based hard for a bit, was listening in. Yeah, no problem. IRC, there used to be a multiplayer sequel to this game, but I think it was online only. Yes, it was called, um, what was it called? Um, uh, what was it? Uh, something Fire? Like, Fire the Line, or something like that? I'm not really sure. Uh, but I actually have a copy of it. Line of Contact, that's it, thank you. I actually have a copy of it. Unfortunately, it doesn't work anymore. Uh, in the conventional sense, however, I am a part of a Discord group that does hold their own custom servers. You have to get your Xbox mod, unfortunately, but if you do, you can all connect to the custom servers that this Discord group has made, and they still do like weekly to monthly games in the multiplayer for this game to this day. You can see their stuff on YouTube. It's awesome. I have yet to do it. Uh, but if I get a new Xbox here, I'll probably send it in and have them uh, uh, make the uh, the change for me. Then, heck, maybe I'll stream uh, <laughs> those online multiplayer games. I never got involved with them, unfortunately. Like, I was, my family was kind of slow on uh, jumping on the the online train for like faster internet and stuff. So by the time I finally got around to doing it, I only got like maybe three matches in, and after that, I never really got around to playing the multiplayer. And by then. Uh, the service has had uh, the service has shut down. So, and we're giving the Xbox's mod to play with the X-Link community. Yeah. To be honest, though, 
I thought of getting a left-handed joystick specifically for games like my quarter five star citizen. Mm hmm. Yeah. My current hotel test my current hotel setup lends well to flight sims, especially the F sixteen, but doesn't lend well to games that require cons constant throttle adjustment. Oh. Uh what's your I'm curious, what's your what's your controller setup? Same here. Mm hmm. Yeah, the controller's ridiculous. Yeah, it is. It's uh it's kinda it's kinda crazy. Not gonna not gonna lie there. Okay. Wait a tick. Uh I feel silly. <laughs> uh Noel. Um Uh, Noel Shrai, I just realized, uh, you're the person I, I contacted on, uh, on Twitter X, uh, for the, for those commissions I was talking about for the space thing. <laughs> I just put two and two together here. I'm smart, I swear. Winning F-16 joystick and throttle grip. Plus MFG crossbow. Ah, okay, okay, nice. <laughs> nice. You know, speaking of speaking of which, uh, after I do all the space stuff, I'm actually also intending on uh, uh, having a PNG reactive of me as a MechWarrior pilot, uh, as well as um, uh, a fighter pilot for like uh, DCS and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> uh, prepare some, f prepare for some future work if you're looking for some work. I thought you recognized me, so I didn't really say anything. You know, I. It's funny because the, I mean the the name seemed familiar, but for some reason it just it just didn't click until recently. I'm like, oh wait a minute, this is this the, this is the guy on Twitter. Ah. VT isn't for a vertical tank; it's for a VTuber. Oh, you've cracked the code. You've done it. <laughs> you won the internet, sir. <laughs> Alright, this guy, uh, this oddly rendered guy. I'm not really sure why they rendered him uh, so realistically this way. But he's giving us, he's giving us the tips. I took out three uh, Vitz VTubers. <laughs> Okay, let's try that again. I usually can do this mission pretty easily, but that was years ago. Like, honestly, I have not gotten very far in this game. Like, I've only gotten to the fourth mission. I don't know how to get past the... I don't know how to get past the, the battle uh, ship. no one is mad at you for losing expensive equipment you would think VT costs a lot of money well I think I had to purchase my I think I had to purchase a new one so maybe that's why they're not mad at me they're like well you gotta flip the bill it's like oh. hey soul guess what uh what what's up okay hopefully this time I am much better I think I will be. Boop. Oh. I see what you did there. Why you boop with bat? Why? Just passed on the level on uh, that level two weeks ago on on uh, stream. But that's only because some guy from that online community happened uh, happened by and coached me. Nice. Yeah, I have yet to get past that freaking battleship. You know, 
I'm like, how do you do this? I just, it's, oh man. I, I don't know why I've never got past it, but I, I, I never did. Never got past it. Let's have some more water here. Imagine that VTs are hella expensive. Consider how much tech the legs alone would need to work. Yeah. If you get there, I'll tell you what he told me. Okay, fair. Let's get there. Let's see, I have my foot pedals here sitting on a rug, and yet they still slide. Not great. The only game of the game I know that you manage money is your quote unquote lives is Battle Tanks Global Assault. I need to stream that game. I love that game. It kind of reminded me of a more like involved version of like the old uh, like uh, arcade, like uh, Namco arcade game called Tank Wars, which someone tried to make a spiritual successor. Uh, two on Steam with uh, mixed results. I wish that game would have done a lot better and they would have figured stuff out, but fortunately, I think that game's abandoned by now. But I'd, I'd love to play like the old school Tank Wars game from the arcade. I remember having so much fun with that game as a kid. It really felt Japanese the way like the, the 3D uh, uh, models were made and like the the fluidity and the action and stuff for like an arcade game in the 90s i was super fascinated with it and, the, and like the, the the texture cut the texture designs of like the 32 and 60 bit era 64 bit era all right let's dial right down the center we'll just avoid the two coastal walls if possible Okay, well, I'm third gear. Yeah, thir third gear feels like it's a good, like, mix of decent amount of speed and maneuverability without worrying too much about falling over. Like, it's not amazing, but it, it feels like a good mix. Oh. Let's bring it down to... Let's bring it down to second. Alright, good. We got that one guy. Man, this guy really doesn't know how to pick his lanes, does he? We just gotta get through this wall. One. Alright, let's go up to fourth gear. I wish there was more like heavy mech sim games like this. You know, Mech Warrior 5 is really the only one, and even then, it's it feels like a, a super light version of what we used to have back then. All right, let's bring it down the second gear.
first gear. Get a little boost in acceleration coming in the second. It's the most stable for this type of turn. All right. Let's close that monitor. It's getting in the way. Oh, cool. All right, we got all the main objectives here. There's some vehicles and stuff, but that's not really something we need to worry about. Okay, first gear. Let's bring that back down. Second gear. Got him. Got another one. Oh, got to reload. Still got one more. Got him. All right, those are all the main targets. There we go. Much better. Imagine MechWarrior 1 through 4 actually being commercially available on something like Juju Steam. I wish, man. Oh my gosh, I wish so much. MechWarrior 5 has been fun. MechWarrior 5 has definitely gotten a lot better uh, over the years with all the um, all the additional DLC and uh, patches and the mods. I hope MechWarrior 5 um, clans, which is actually going to use uh, a separate I believe it's going to be a separate purchase, actually. Uh, I don't think it's going to use the the current MechWarrior 5 engine. I think it's going to use an updated version of it. Uh, I really do hope they kind of switch that game up to really feel a little more constructed the way MechWarrior 2 felt when I played it. You would think that even a mech game that goes hard on realism and grit would be fighting at a much further distance than within visual reigns? Yeah. IRC modern tanks can shoot up to around three to four uh, kilometers. Well, I'm not really sure how far we are fighting in this game. I, I, I'll have to see if there's if they have measurements. Maybe engagements a little closer to maximum effectiveness, but still really far out. Yeah, possible. I'll have to see what the the distances are. The Haishi Dao forces occupied the Shawan coast retreated after a mere hour of resistance. The seventh Special Panzer Division, thirty fourth Special Panzer Battalion, succeeded in landing with only minor losses. In order for the thirty second and thirty third Special Panzer Battalions to launch to land unchallenged and secure a safe bridgehead. The 34th Special Panzer Battalion began a sweep operation to wipe out the remaining enemies within a 5 kilometer radius of the landing point. Bring back the campy FMVs of MechWare 4 and Mech, and Mech Commander. Those are fun. I enjoyed those. I still say Wing Commander 4 is one of my favorite FMV games. You know what? I've never played Mech, uh, Wing Commander 4 outside of, like the first mission. I really want to uh, stream that eventually. I did recently get a copy of the Wing Commander Saga of 1 through 3, which 
uh, from what I understand, has the best version of those games compared to any, like, on GOG, they still have, like, the older versions of Wing Commanders, uh, 1, 2, and 3. And unfortunately, they don't have Saga, which is really sad. Okay, channel one's Argus, channel two or channel three is Oscar. FMVs were such great additions to games. They definitely were. If if they did them just right, either make them look great or they just just made them fun like they did for like the command and conquer games and stuff like they're great you know they're cheese but they're great saga irc is just a free space 2 mod oh no 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 i i mean i mean there used to be a commercially available uh game called um the kill rothy saga uh, which was a repackaging of the first, second, and third PC games all in one uh, package. But it used an updated version of the engine uh, for those games, including like the best soundtrack, like the best sounding version of the soundtrack, as well as a lot of great quality of life changes that never made it with the current GOG games. Yeah, the Kill Rathi Saga. Which I've never had a chance to play, but I recently got a copy of it, so I was looking forward to installing because I would love to stream at least the first three games, um, and then I, I guess I should also stream the fourth game of that since I've never actually played it. But uh, yeah, I've, I have been like off and on. I haven't recently, but I have streamed uh, the Darkest Dawn, uh, Wing Commander Saga uh, game, which is the the one that is used uh, that uses a this basically a mod of Free Space Two. That game is so good. I love that game. I had that line somewhere, but I think it only really worked on the Windows 98. Uh, there's updates for it. Like, there's there's patches. Uh, there's patches online to, to get it working on modern systems. I would argue that FMVs of that era aged better than the pre-rendered cutscenes of something like Jedi Academy. Yeah. Hey, Stacy Place. Hope you're doing well. Pleasure to have you here. What game are you playing? Uh, we are playing uh, Steel Battalion, which is an Xbox original exclusive. The OG Xbox. And this game uh, was notorious for having a $150 price tag when it first came out. Because this game was made to work on a custom controller peripheral which is a massive four-piece controller. I literally have three of those pieces connected together sitting in my lap with two control sticks, uh, you know, that I'm like flight, like, like flight sticks, a throttle, a bunch of light up buttons across all three peripherals here, and then three foot pedals underneath me to drive the thing. It's nuts. <laughs> Hey, Stacy! Thank you so much for the follow. Really appreciate it. Um, I'll give you the little spiel here. I'm Soul Bad Greg, your local VTuber swing dancer, currently dressed up for Halloween as my uh, Soul Bun Boy, my Final Fantasy XIV character. Let me give you a nice little cowboy cat, yeah, for joining us here on the dance floor and becoming a fellow dancer. I hope you enjoy your stay. Uh, so this game is a, it's not really a first person shooter, it's more of a, it's a mech simulation. So it will be in first person, but as you will see here shortly, um, this thing is, um, this thing is crazy. <laughs> Cleverly hidden enemy VT platoons have begun firing on our VT transports at the bridgehead. In sync with this unexpected gunfire, an enemy platoon of VTs are approaching from both the north and the south. 
If this is to continue, we'll encounter tremendous losses to the VT transports and to the VTs being transported. All VT pilots are to intercept and destroy the enemy VTs as quickly as possible. VT meaning vertical tank, or VTuber. Our supply battalion has temporarily ceased their landing operations in order to avoid potential fire from the enemy battleship, the Zen Yan. So just remember that you will you won't be able to receive any supplies on this mission. Okay, uh, I think we have everything. I think we have everything already picked. Yeah. IRC, they replaced the soundtrack for the games with pre-recorded audio, which is cool, but cool and all, but I set up an M32 oh, emulator and virtual mid sync specifically for the best sound audio. Nice. Although honestly trying to get that stuff uh, is kind of a pain. Um, so yeah, the doing like doing the full on M M uh, was it the the full on MT32 can have great results. But man, it's a pain to get. So like getting the Kill Rathi saga to work just instantly with the pre the pre recorded stuff, not a bad trade off. To be honest, every time I hear you say your name, I keep expecting you to say it with Guy, not Greg. <laughs> yeah. Well, Soul Bad Guy used to be my well, Soul Bad Guy is my main in um, Guilty Gear. Uh, Soul, Soul Bad Greg became my fan name going to like conventions and stuff. Um, yeah, I'm I'm a bad guy, but I'm not a bad guy. Um, but uh, yeah, I just figured you know oh, I wanted to call myself Soul Bad Greg because I love playing Soul Bad Guy, and no one else has this. Uh, you know what? What other Soul? What other Greg out there is gonna sound super? You know, super silly. Um, you know, coming up with a name like that. It's like, eh, it's, I, I guarantee you no one else is going to have it. And sure enough, every time I go register for stuff, no one else has it. So it's very much my unique name. <laughs> There's only one soul bad Greg in the in the world, and it's this fool right here. <laughs> Jedi Academy's cutscene graphics were cutting edge for 2003, while FMVs, something like that, Mech Commander... We're camping oof for 1998. Let's just look at camping oof today. Oh. Sounds like we're already. We're already going. Okay. Ignition. Alright, I need to flip these back. Okay. There we go. Alright, let's start this. There we go. Good power. Back to first gear. Yeah, we're actively being attacked right now. Keep it in first gear so that way I can try and maintain my balance. Oh no, Anakin. They have the high ground. Sights up. Okay. Stop. There's someone flanking me? Ah. Okay. He's destroyed. Who's behind me? Is someone behind me? Oh, oh. Ah! Gosh dang it. Ah. 
Get up. Yeah. Okay. Damn, I must have turned real hard if I flipped even when I was in first gear. Soviet. I can't really see right now. I'm, I got my my reader is pretty far away from me right now. I got a big hulk, uh, hulking perfor on my lap. All right. Oscar three here. I read you, Argus. Yeah, I'm aware. This is Oscar 3 to Argus. Do you copy? Oh! This is Argus. I read you, Oscar 3. Over. Oh. Bring it back to second gear. Anakin, we must reach the high ground. Ah. No, not more missiles to the face. This thing while doing what I'm doing here is pretty challenging. Gosh, these are artillery units. Okay, slowly, slowly rotate. There we go. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Oh, got him. the sub to charge them. Oh, shit. Uh, eject, eject, eject. Oh, I was not expecting that spread.
Yeah, Wing Commander 4 was great because they built real sets specifically for the game and they hired big name actors like a certain well-known Jedi Knight to play the main character. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and um, I believe in uh, Wing Commander 3, they did the live action stuff with the actors, but it was all on like green screen. You know, you can tell. But I remember seeing like trailers for Wing Commander 4 I was like, oh, that's that's actual practical sets. They wouldn't build. They wouldn't build that. I've logged little GG strive time because my main was jam. I've always been a Kai main or key main. Was it Kai? It's Kai. Main was jam. And she's still not playable. Sad. Yeah. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I barely put any hours in strive because I don't know. I oh, this is gonna be a stupid uh, dad pun, but. I don't really have the drive to play Strive because Strive changed everything in the game and now characters that I've had years of experience playing it feels like they've it feels like the system changed so much I can't even pull off basic combos I gotta relearn everything and I'm just like I just don't feel like doing this Yeah, I know it's impossible to take enemies out, locate on a cliff from one down from below. Yeah, I know it's. We didn't have the high ground. Full throttle until you turn. Oh wait. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. You want my <laughs> three? Looks Harker and Biff Tannen. <laughs> Space. Uh, thank you guys for the alarms to the face. Stabilization. Could this thing just not fall over? All right, need to go pass out. All right, Valentine Dantes. Uh, thank you for dropping by. Really appreciate having you here. Uh, get plenty of rest, and uh, hope to see you again. Take care, dude. Looks like even in space, the capitalist managed to get him. <laughs> Yeah, I, gosh, I gotta look into. Maybe I should just put some money together to go buy another original Xbox, because this thing is. I, I don't think it's the game. I think it could be the system is taking longer to load. Alright, let's grab another one of these. And then we'll get the vits here. Let's try out the vents. Maybe, maybe if we go fast, uh, we can take out a lot of emplacements. Let's try this thing out. Arms. Firepower, ammunition. Keep doing awesome, dude. Heck yeah. Thanks, man. I want to 
want to have an OG Xbox to be my my mod mule. RAM upgrades, C CPU overclock, SD storage, fan upgrades, the works. Yeah. They could play the unreleased port of Virtual Cop 3. Oh. You know what's you know what's funny is that after Xbox had their now I believe it's finalized acquisition of uh, Activision Blizzard and now people are like so when are you going to when are you going to absorb Sega next huh you know if you're going to start buying up all the companies you know it's it's funny is that when the original Xbox came out they had such huge support from Sega uh given that Microsoft was involved with helping Sega develop uh the hard the uh uh, the architecture for the Dreamcast, uh, Sega actually offered to have their entire Dreamcast library uh, backwards compatible with the original Xbox, including like games like, uh, uh, you know, like all the online titles and stuff. And they said no. The idiots. I want to buy all the Dreamcast games and just play them on the X and the original Xbox, you fools. The original Xbox had a way better controller than the Dreamcast, and it's funny if you look if you look at the the Duke, which was the big beefy original Xbox controller before they went with the S version, which is the Jap the Japanese version. It's the exact same. It's almost the exact same controller without as the Dreamcast. The Dreamcast controller is basically a stepping stone to eventually what the Duke Xbox controller would be. Same button layout. Uh, you know, the button's a little more narrow the way they're spaced, but same button layout, right? The stick is up as opposed to being lower. You know, D-pad's in the same spot. The only thing they added was a couple of additional buttons, uh, which would eventually, you know, they were the black and white buttons, but eventually they became the L and R um, shoulder buttons. And right thumbstick. Otherwise, it's the same layout. <laughs> Oh, what? There we go. Oh, gosh, that's right. This thing is super cheap. Look at this. It's like I'm playing Wing Commander Privateer. I, I bought the I bought the the display and radar that doesn't have uh that doesn't have color. Oh no. I can't drive either. God, I'm just gonna have to. All right, let's take out. Let's take out that one guy behind me. There he is. He's behind. I should theoretically be able to, like, drift in this thing, right? Like, I should be running in the 90s with this thing because, you know, it has max stability. Damn! Okay, let's keep moving. <laughs> Yo, Vince Chad, heck yeah! <laughs> The fishy fish are heavier. Yeah, this thing is wild, but man, it's got incredible stability. So you know, I'll run with it for this mission. Nah, the Vitz is the slowest VT in the game. Ah, uh, yeah, that, I guess that's true. But at least it's super stable. without worrying about this thing falling over, like advertised. I know, that's what I'm working on.
Okay, I'm assuming that's 90 uh, kph. Oh, that's a lot of that's a lot of chat there. I can't read it because I'm really far away from the the screen because <laughs> the peripheral. The peripherals in my peripheral. It's in it's in uh, KMH. Yeah, yeah. Monochrome. Yep. This would have such a cool thing to have games working on it. Yeah. Ow. This, man. Oh. Come on. Man, look at this. I could just Battletech circle strafe them in this thing. Wow. Dude, this thing is so stable. His shots can't even keep up with me. All right, I'm literally going fifth gear up here. This is insane. All right, I better lower the gear. It's... I'm climbing now, so I definitely need a lower gear. Oh, magazine change. Oh gosh. guys like to shoot those volleys yeah like that circle story gosh damn okay I'm reaching the end of the cliff here We got that one. Okay, we got him. That was close. We're getting close to the edge there. Oh, we are becoming an edge runner. <laughs> Windows CE, don't forget. Yep. It even says so on the Dreamcast. Would be such a cool thing to have. Yeah. Why does it sound like a 94 Nissan pickup? <laughs> That's. The, I wouldn't be surprised if they like took recordings and just put it on here, you know, to try and give it that more authentic kind of uh, feel. Currently really fast, and most VTs you can cancel out the falling and reset your balancer really well by dodging, even if it's super small. That's how you keep from falling. Okay, I forgot about that. 
most can get in the hundreds of KMH. Later ones get to 200. Gosh dang. Party Pat, good to see you, dude. Hope you're doing well, man. It's been uh, it's been a minute, I think. Noise, yeah. Tianta, a city that holds the largest military port in the Haishi Dao, must be captured in order to gain command of the seas. Oh. Uh, oh, that is, uh, that is quite the name there. <laughs> I c sorry, I wasn't able to catch it. Um, uh, let me, let me look for your, let me give you a proper shout out here. Uh, so if you just bear with me for a moment. Gotta switch over. Quasar the Void Cat. Hey, thank you so much for the follow. Really appreciate it. Soul Bad Greg here, a local VTuber swing dancer who is currently dressed up for Halloween as my Final Fantasy XIV character, Soul Bun Greg. Currently playing some uh, super cool mech games, uh, mech simulators specifically. And we're playing an oldie but goodie here uh, for the OG Xbox Steel Battalion. Let me give you a nice little cowboy cat, yeah, for joining us as a fellow dancer. I hope you enjoy your stay. Yeah, this week I'll be continuing the tradition of playing more horror games, but today I definitely felt like big stompy robots, so that's what we're doing. Oh yeah, the Toyota Vitz is where the Vitz was based off of. Is it really? That's pretty funny. <laughs> After securing the after securing the, the coastal bridgehead, the Seventh Special Panzer Division began their advance to capture Jianta City. Mission three: Jianta City penetration. Okay. So I now have Wagon Master. I think Wag isn't Wagon Master the uh, the group that brings in like what is this? Do I want that? Nah, I think I'll go with the my main battle tank. I like more with what I know. Wagon Master is your resupply chopper. That's it. Most missions expect you to have at least one resupply from here on out. Right, so I just switch over to that dial and I hit that button, right? I think that's how it works. What's what's uh the one and the three? I don't remember what they do. Yeah, the one and the three on the comm buttons. What what were those? Because I know that they're on there. Like, I, I have choices on there, but I don't remember what they do. Are they, like, for support? Like, uh, teammates? Lance mates? Wingmen? One is call, three through five in the original is for issuing commands to teammates. Two is cancel. Okay. I appreciate the tips.
here's the bridge. Let's deal with these guys. Much of this have you played before by the way you know i played this off and on for many years but i never played it a huge amount oh shit in fact i've never gotten past the fourth mission of this game i always lose on the fourth mission when i'm dealing with the battleship This is embarrassing. <laughs> wow, I've never fell for that before. I forgot that could happen. <laughs> That's what happens when I don't play this game for years. The same thing pretty common. Yeah, Mission 4 is... Uh, Mission 4 is fucked. Game fully expects you to have mastered dodging by then without even telling you about it. <laughs> yeah, dodging isn't too hard, but it's, I don't know, like, I don't know, like, every time I go up against that battleship, it's like, I don't know. Okay, so I just need to, I gotta be like Sonic and I gotta go fast. Supplies. Here we go. See, so yeah, we have Argus and we have Oscar One. I don't know. I don't remember off the top of my head what Argus and Oscar One do. Is Oscar One like my lance mate? And is Argus like the like the HQ? Because when I got this used, I don't think I had, like, the instruction manual or anything with it. Like, I just got the game and I got the, uh, the controller. It didn't come with the box or anything. Gotta react quick to its shots. However, there's an easy exploit on the mission. If you don't feel like restarting a million times... Hey, I'm... At, you know, I've had this game for over 10 to 15 years. I'm fine with spoilers. I'm I'm fine with uh, with uh, some cheats. Old games expect you to fully read the game manual first before playing. Yeah, back when they had manuals, I miss. Does anyone else does anyone else remember and miss those old days where you know you'd purchase a game, you open it up, and there was a nice big manual in there for you, and the you know the ones that had real beefy manuals that had all sorts of cool stuff you can learn about and actually teaches you about stuff. And, and until they started recently completely getting rid of them and just expect you to either read the stuff online or in a downloadable PDF or even worse, just expect you to learn it via like the the menu loading screens, you know? Man, I miss I miss those uh, I miss those times. Just every every time I purchase a, a a Switch game, you know, just open up, it's just this little thing inside this big case. I'm like, why why bother? <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, she's your commander, Oscar one, two of your allies. Okay. We have the manual online, but to be honest, it's mostly lore fluff. In my opinion, it's more of a game design issue. The fact that it forces you to restore it after failing too much and not telling not telling you shite while expecting you to master really complex mechanics when on just breaks most blue players. Ironically, learning uh, LOC is way easier, but mostly try to brute force their way through the original and then burn out. Hmm. I IRC Falcon 4.0 had a literal textbook for a manual. This is true. Then again, you know, uh, Falcon 4.0 was them trying to replicate the Falcon the best they could. So that kind of makes sense. You know what I mean? And a lot of D, uh, a lot of uh, DCS World uh, modules also come out with their own massive 700 to 1,000 page manuals, which I've never been the greatest at reading. Yeah, like the manual for uh, Steambot Chronicles told you while well, the player character needed to eat some, uh, needed to eat so the player did themselves. Yeah, thank you for the. Uh, oh. There you go. Yeah, thank you for the. Uh, uh, manual link. All right, let's follow these guys' lead. Let's just barrel through it. and knock that one over. Oh, he went in for the melee. Okay, now you're literally blocking my escape. You're literally blocking my escape, guy. Oh, jeez. Alright. There. Ah, you're, you're tangling me. You're tearing me apart, Lisa. actually caught fire there for a moment. How do you use the extinguisher? I don't remember having to use that thing. Oh, new magazine.
Damn, not close enough. Ah. time. Damn, things are looking rough. on the move they keep shelling my area. Now would be a good time to get some distance and call in a replacement. safe here. Dash tank. Wagon Master, this is Oscar 3. Do you This is Oscar 3, requesting supplies. This is Wagon Master. Roger that. The supply chopper is on its way. Their MKs will occasionally catch you on fire when they hit shotgunish weapons. You see them firing? Mm, I see, I see. Oh, that building's going down. I didn't. Oh, dang. Shit, they're in this area. These buildings are eventually going to fall. Okay, there comes Wagon Master.
Heck yeah. Getting our ammo, getting getting some armor replacements. Sweet. Ooh, just in time. Oscar 3 to Oscar 1. Do you copy? This is Oscar 1. What is it, Oscar 3? Oscar 3 to Oscar 1. I'm under heavy attack. Request reinforcements. Oscar 1 here. I'm on my way. Just hold them off until I get there. There it goes. There goes the building. Oh, the building didn't completely collapse. Alright, he's on his way. Alright, that guy's gonna... There you go. Drive right through the middle. Ah. Got him. magazine This is Oscar 3 to Oscar 1. Do you This is Oscar 1. What is it, Oscar 3?
first. Time out before. You just gotta go to the end of the city. You don't need to kill anyone on the mission you don't want. Yeah. Let's go with the vits. Alright, I'll catch you another time sooner or later after they hit the hay. Alright dude, you have a good night man, thank you for dropping by, it's good to see you again. original Xbox was something else. It's unfortunately got slept on by so many developers until later on in its life cycle. 
but I always remember every single time how amazed I am that no matter how many times I saved data on my original Xbox, the amount of units that it displayed for how much uh, how much space you have uh, reserved on your internal hard drive never went under max, like ever. I can actually see ish. That's good. Hey, aren't I technically running in the 90s right now? have to take these guys out. They are main targets.
Got the other one. Man, I gotta tell you, the, the Vince is growing on me here. Oh, damn. That one. Gosh, damn. Wow. This thing really is a little Toyota truck. Alright. I don't think I'm gonna get attacked. Alright, let's call on, uh... Let's call on our buddy. Wagon Master, this is Oscar 3. Do you... Hey, heard Oku. Pleasure to have you here. Razor stole, uh, stole Jay. Pleasure to have you here. So I'm, uh, I, I can't really see, uh, your guys' um, uh, messages because Why I have a master? giant this controller in front three. of me. <laughs> so now that I have a little bit of downtime, take a look at messages real quick. Oscar three, what is it? You can just run past me if you want. Yo, stupid time. Heck yeah. I'll say it does. He can't. Can't play the game without it. This is true. Unless if, there's probably a way to there's probably a way to emulate it, right? The controller. I'm assuming. I imagine you can rig something up with Hotas and a control and a keyboard. You probably can. See, which kind of controller has some specific things about it that would make it hard to have a standard Hotas hooked up to it. That's true. You should join us online. We host online games night uh, nights weekly. I. Um, are you part of the the Discord uh, for the uh, uh, was it the uh, for the Steel Battalion uh, group? Because I'm because I'm actually in that Discord. I just haven't had my Xbox mod to where I can play uh, on the custom servers that are hosted on there online. Uh, but yeah. Mod modify 106 so it doesn't recenter and make sure you got some pedals. Yeah. Although technically I do have all that stuff. Um, you probably pick up a mouse and pretend it's a stick. Not saying it'd be good. Yeah, pedals important. Yeah, I, I have like the entire Thrustmaster, like flight stick, Hotas throttle, and pedal combo. So you could, you could probably make something up out of that. Do that main problem is be as soon as the cursor leaves your view, no idea what the cursor is. All good man, me too. Nice. Yeah, so in order to join uh, online, I would what would I need exactly? Would I need all would I need like the original copy of the game? Like cause I, I, I do have that copy of the game, but I don't have my Xbox uh, modded. I'm assuming I need to have it modded to run the, the uh, custom server.
gosh, there's all three of them right here. Good time to run fast. Gotta go fast. Zigzag. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I completely forgot. All you have to do is cross the finish line. You don't have to worry about attacking anybody. I'm a dumb dumb. <laughs> the one issue is that I have a ho toss and there's no feedback on the throttle. Uh, well, there's no three. There's no feedback on this one either. <laughs> we can set. We can set you up with a mod kit. Oh. You have to mod it to unlock the VTs and put the game on your hard drive, though. It's super simple. Soft modding is pretty easy, though. Oh, nice. It's better to run the game off the HDD and necessary to unlock all the VT slash maps. Okay. Yeah, that'd be no issue. That'd be another issue is getting. Oh. If you miss gear, your screw up's not over. Hmm. He means how to sh he means how the gear shifts and the controller moves up. Oh, I gotcha, I gotcha. Well, I mean, there is a visual indicator to what gear you're in, so you could just you know move it up and just kind of visually glance uh, to see what gear it moved up in. Send me a mission to Discord when you get a chance, and we can set you up. Everything. Yeah, sure. Um, hmm. I wonder if, because if if uh, doing the the mod kit on an Xbox, I wonder if it'd be better if I would just go get a uh, another Xbox, because this one seems like it's uh, this one's technically like I own. Gosh, I've owned multiple original Xboxes at this point. I re my family bought me the original Xbox when it first came out back in 2001, and then that one started having hard drive issues. And then I bought a second one uh, because the first one was uh, so hard to use. And then I lost that one. And then I was started playing the original again. And I just found the second one. And now this one is starting. I'm, no I'm noticing some weird loading issues. And so now I'm kind of I'm kind of thinking of going down to a local uh, gaming place. That sells like a fully modded um, original Xbox with all these games on it and stuff uh, for like a hundred bucks. And so I'm like, uh, maybe I should just go pick that one up, you know, and then mod that one for uh, Steel Battalion. Best part of the online is free to play, no subscription. Yeah. I would mod it anyway so you can upgrade the HDD and ask Paul. Oh, cool. The disk drives tend to die on the Xbox. Yeah. After taking control of Jianta City, the 7th Special Force Panzer Division destroyed the Haishi Dao forces. This is always the mission that screwed me up, the naval port. And began preparations for the full scale attack of the Jianta naval port. Yeah, I'll I'll, uh, I'll make sure to send uh, shoot you a, uh, a message. I'm pretty sure it's the Discord I'm thinking of. Okay, let's grab another resupply. I should grab two. This mission gets everyone, yeah. Take the decider, okay.
keep it the same. Thanks, JD, for that harm to the face. Anyways, I'm gonna go GL on this. Yeah, thanks, dude. Let's uh, let's see if I can beat this damn thing. This will be a first. After owning this over after owning this game for plus 15 years, maybe today will be the day we can get past mission four. There's a hangar on the left side of the battleship that's indestructible. Oh, sweet. So maybe I could just, like, sidestep. You can hide behind it and, and attack the battleship. Oh, nice. Okay, I will look out for that. Yeah, dodging in. Okay. Damn, this disk drive is struggling. Right? It was never like... Well, I haven't used this Xbox in years because it's been buried in the garage. And uh, the other one I have, uh, I tried to take that in to see if the guy could get it repaired at the local place uh, that we have over here, local gaming store. And he was telling me that the hard drive itself was like... It was like part of the hard drive, the issue, and it was like dying. So that one was a bust. I get this one, right? The, the, I got this is the one other one I got from years ago, and it runs better. But as you can see, it's having issues now, too. So, so yeah, part of me was thinking of just getting another one. Uh, sometime later this month, maybe. Alright. Time to cry.
<laughs> Got me. Once you mod, you can replace the HDD and never have to worry about the disc. I have a two. Di Ooh, that sounds really cool. When the reticle is yellow, it means you're out of range and your weapon is missing. Oh, I didn't know that. Get close enough and the reticle turns red, and that's when you will get the solid hits. Okay. Sweet. Wagon Master, this is Oscar 3. Do you cop? This is Wagon Master. Oscar 3, what is it? Yeah, call Wagon Master, exactly. This is Oscar 3. Hells Requesting is supplies. This is Wagon Master. Roger that. The supply chopper is on its way. Man, it's too bad this game couldn't, this game franchise couldn't continue. They had to screw it up with that stupid connect bullshit. So where half the stuff, actually more than half, probably 80 to 95% of that bullshit they put on the connects died. Show people playing online last weekend. Nice. Wait, 
What? Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm a, a smart guy. Ship and VT's hard act for any man, kid. So take them different routes so you can concentrate on your fire and just battleship. Yeah. Okay. intent on, on going this long, but uh, just having so much fun with uh, Gundam 0079 side story and uh, still with time that uh, couldn't help me. <laughs> but it's a good time to uh, stop here. When we pick this up next time, because we definitely will pick this up next time, uh, we can see if we can finally get past the battleship. So I want to thank you all for joining me. Uh, it's been a pleasure having you all here. Thank you for all the raids and the follows and all the all the warm uh, welcomes and all the cool vibes and uh, let's go and see who we can go say hello to Wh whoever is putting in the the late hours let's see who's still currently on Looks like uh, Just Sam is playing some uh, Terraria. Terraria is an awesome game. So is uh, Just Sam. So let's go say hello. To, let's go say hello to him. It's been a while. Yeah, thank you for the stream. Uh, Razor Stall, make sure to reach out to you on. Uh, uh, Discord. In fact, I'm actually going to Discord right now just to make sure that we're in the same uh, we're in the same Discord. Um, uh, what was it called? I'll make sure I'm looking at the right thing here. Is it still Battalion Online? Oh, and I see you right there, Razor Stole J. Hey. <laughs> We've made contact. All right. You have a good night. Hope you all have a wonderful night. And uh, I'll catch you with the the spoopy, scary uh, Skellington games next time. Take care, everyone.